Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to learn about mobile satellite services with respect to GSM. Okay. So let's see what is actually a GSM. So this particular GSM is an approach to digital cellular communications, which was first started in Europe. Okay. So, so GSM stands for global system for mobile communication and as nowadays it has been rapidly uh, keep on developing and will be much more effective for the next generations of wireless telecommunication systems as well. So beyond this uh, cellular uh, frequency, the range of this particular GSM frequency is from 900 megahertz to 1800 megahertz. Okay especially all the mobile devices throughout any area okay which are using gsm uh, related or gsm signaling protocols they need to have or operate within the frequencies of 900 megahertz to 1800 megahertz and especially the gsm protocols will be operating from a satellite systems called as leo satellite okay we have already seen the leo mio geo right low earth orbits, middle earth orbit, as well as geostationary orbits, right? So this particular uh, GSM uh, cellular mobile communications will be operating with respect to the LEO satellite communication system. That is nothing but lower earth orbits, okay? So as the lower earth orbit is very, very nearer to the earth, okay? Or the ground stations, okay? So there will be a point-to-point -point communication and the signaling will be very much good and proper now let's see architecture of gsm okay so this architecture or the gsm architecture includes several subsystems so let's see what are those subsystems one by one first thing is the mobile station okay so mobile station can be your mobile device or a smartphone or any device which is used for uh, conversation in a vehicle or it can be a portable device or any handheld terminals, okay? But what it need to have is, it need to have a SIM card, okay? So we all know, right? We all are aware of SIM cards, right? So in order to have a communication in a mobile station, we need to use a SIM card with a perfect 10-digit uh, number, okay? Each and every SIM card will be having IMEA number, okay? As well as an uh, identity number like a mobile phone okay so sim card uh, subscriber identity module sim card is very much essential for the mobile station so this mobile station can be any device fitted in the vehicles or our smartphones or mobile phones okay next comes the base stations base stations are the important which are uh, uh, very much uh, communicating with the mobile station so Whenever you want to get the signals for our mobile phones or cellular phones or the devices where this particular SIM is inserted, we need to have this base station, okay? So this base station is nothing but uh, can be considered as BSS, base station or base substation, okay? So this will be having some sort of switching network radio interface where we can transmit as well as receive the signal, okay? So this will be having base trans receiver stations so a, a particular antenna will be installed in that okay such that the signal will be transmitted to the mobile stations and the signal will be received from the mobile stations also okay so this particular base station or the base substation bss will be having bts where uh, it is considered as base trans receiver stations so it will be having several hardware like radio modems, antenna equipments for the trans receiving mechanisms, okay? So next comes the network and switching subsystem. In short, we can call them as NSS, okay? So this particular network and switching subsystem provides the switching between the GSM subsystem as well as external analog with databases. So we have several registers, HLR and VLR like that, okay? So visitor location registers and home location registers, we have several of these kind of registers where this particular uh, network subsystem, okay, will also maintain a database of the subscribers 
where this particular call is made, where this particular uh, call is outgoing or from which uh, number you are getting an incoming call or, or everything related to the calls or the data will be maintained as a database through this particular network and switching subsystem NSS, okay? So this maintains a huge database, not only small one, this maintains a huge database, okay? So area wise or uh, cities wise or uh, it depends on the uh, network uh, structure, okay? So MTSO also plays in a major role with this particularly and it will be having uh, additional mobility management, okay? Now next comes the operation subsystem. So the operation subsystem in short can also be called as OSS, okay? So this particular OSS also uh, as a part of an overview of an NSS. So this particular OSS provides the support function, which will be which, uh, much more responsible for the management of network maintenance as well as services, okay? All these management network or the maintenance or the services or everything is related to the GSM protocol where we will be using this particular global system for mobile communication for especially for the data as well as uh, communication purpose, okay? So in this, we are using a satellite called as lower earth orbit, okay? LEO satellite communication systems uh, uh, with the frequency which providing a cellular frequency like 900 megahertz to 1800 megahertz, okay?